Hi guys and welcome to a very excited me right now because tomorrow is the next EV pickup day and I'm a little bit like a Yorkshireman in a pie shop right now. Now I managed to keep this a secret from pretty much everybody out there including my wife and daughter. Clearly after the video I did a few weeks ago where I basically sold the leaf I couldn't really hide that from them could I? <laughs> I had to think of something which fit the narrative as it were and as timing and look would have it my brother is currently selling his Renault Zoe so I've basically told my wife and daughter that we are buying his Renault Zoe that is the reason we sold the leaf I just say yeah better range newer I've just made something up basically but in reality of course I'm not getting a Zoe I'm getting something else now this is something which has been dragged out a little bit by me, I admit, over Twitter and a little bit on YouTube. Um, but now it's time to reveal the car, the next EVM mobile. So if you want to play along, uh, pause the video now and put in the comments what you think I'm about to show you. If you don't want to play along, uh, skip ahead, see what car it is and uh, well, thanks for watching. The plan tomorrow is for Harry to come and pick me up, take me to the train station and then we're both going to go and pick up this car and have a bit of fun. So, uh, can't wait till tomorrow. We're here at the train station, a very rural one, but it's canceled. You give public transport one job, one job in your life and it, it, it screws it up. It's a knock-on effect for the rest of the day, really. Yeah, this is why, if we go, like we've got, I need to go to London in uh, in a few weeks for a car thing, and I'm not going to take the train, even though it's all the way to London, because if this happens, you've missed your connection. I've missed it. Yeah, no connection, and it's ah, oh, this isn't just a one-off, is it? No, it's all the time. This this is uh, yeah, like I said, last time we went to this place, three were cancelled. Yep. Uh, now this is one car, it's, it's every it's time. It's half an hour wait as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's a minute like the tube. Yeah, people in London especially, but in major cities, don't yeah. know how lucky they've got. I mean, it might be overcrowded and expensive, but at least you've got something to be overcrowded. We don't have anything. There's no buses, and alternatives. The next one is going to be overcrowded because we're picking up all the people that come get on the previous one. one. Yeah, yep. I mean, my favourite story is uh, when you, bro you pick your brother up from the station and he won't believe you. No, 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 he wouldn't, no. He lives in London. He wouldn't believe me of the state of the transport up here, the public transport. He would not believe yeah. me. And he said... I'll and get he, a train. Yeah, I'll get a train. No, stop at half ten. No, there's no <laughs> no trains. Oh, right, I'll get night bus then. Yeah, no, 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 no buses. Bus, no, nothing. He won't it. believe you, would he? No, nope. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Just wait, I guess. Yeah. Oh, gosh, this is why you want... Oh. <laughs> now, a lot of people think that the Toyota self-charging hybrids are a waste of time, but I'm going to shock you now. You're right, they are a waste of time. I'm actually wanting to go over there. See the Ford dealership? A lot of people was guessing the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Ha <laughs> ha, I've got you. Nope, nope, I'm not getting the Mustang Mach-E. It's not out until the end of the year. Even though me and Bill Ford are, are like that. That's Ford, I'm not getting that. Actually, I'm gonna be a bit sneaky, it's just there. Just past the Lexus dealership, which uh, obviously I'm not getting a Lexus. Big reveal time, guys. Now, a lot of people in the previous video when I sold the Leaf guessed the MG ZSEV. I'm not getting an MG ZSEV. No, nope, no, nope, not the MG. I'm going to actually take you to the proper dealership now because uh, I've had my fun. Every dealership we passed, we thought, got a job in there. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yes, the next time you'll see me, we'll be outside the proper dealership. I promise, no more jokes. Right, finally here. This is the actual dealership. No more jokes now. Um, so, uh, well, what's more to say other than... <laughs> After four years of waiting, four years, I finally got into what is a not a used Tesla Model S. A lot of people thought it was. It's that white Model 3 over there. Um, I'll explain the hows and whys because obviously it's something I haven't been able to afford for years. So um, I'll explain that later on in the video, but uh, let's get in the car. First drive, navigate. I haven't done my phone app thing yet, if you're wondering. Uh, so, oh, 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 I've ruined it already. So it's, it's on. Don't crash the brand new car. Don't crash the brand new no. car. 
best thing to do now is just to fast forward to the surprise with uh, Lana and Alice. Yep, yeah, I, I think that's probably um, the best bit. The reveal. Ooh. It's what all YouTubers do, isn't it? it? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in fact, should I uh, clickbait the title by saying, I bought my wife a dream car. You could do, and then the next video could be Tar of Your New House. <laughs> MTV Cribs. <laughs> Look forward soon to the top five things of a Tesla Model 3 and the top five worst things of a Tesla Model 3. The accessories that I must have for a Tesla Model 3. Uh, what else is there? New exhaust. Get it wrapped. <laughs> wrapped, yes, that's yep. another one. I wish. If there's any companies out there that wrap cars that want to sponsor this channel by giving, me to, giving it to me for free, uh, by all means, get in touch. <laughs> right, I'm home, I've parked it round the corner so I can then set up the camera, get them outside uh, and do the reveal. Obviously they're going to be expecting the uh, used Renault Zoe to come round the corner um, and it'll be this. So, fingers crossed it's going to be at least some sort of surprise. I don't know, it may not work at all. Right, let's set everything up and uh, see what happens. Don't peek. Don't peek. Hi! <laughs> what? We got a Tesla! I thought Simon's car was purple. That's not Simon's car! No. That's a Tesla! That is not Simon's car. That's a Tesla! That's a Tesla! Look at that Simon's car, Mommy! Simon's car is it? What are you doing? <laughs> this, is our, this is our new EVM mobile. You don't know its name is? What? It's got a name. It's the new Tesla cool. <laughs> No, it is not. It's the Tesla cool. It's a Tesla. It's got the T. That can't go inside. It's ours. What? Seriously. It's ours. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Pinky swear. <laughs> Why won't anybody believe it? I promise you. <laughs> that is our new Tesla model. And this isn't one that you've just got to test drive or anything for a week or something. I can show you the finance agreement if you wish. I couldn't sell, I couldn't get rid of the leaf a few weeks ago without anybody noticing, so I had to think of a, a reason for selling the leaf, basically. So it's. Well, should we go and have a look at it then? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! That is the key! Right, uh, do you want to see the key? I already know what it looks like. I bet you don't. Oh, the here, here's the key, it's my phone. The phone unlocks the car, so all I have to do is basically walk up to the car. <laughs> and then press this. Open it. Are you no, you'd have to press oh. it. You, you do that, and you don't do. Don't actually even have to press. I know. Oh, that's a nice view, don't you think, folks? Uh. <laughs> I'll let them have a look around and come back later. Right. Well, I think that went quite well, actually. <laughs> I think Alice's reaction was uh, was brilliant. Exactly what I was hoping for. A, a proper shock. Uh, this this is it. This is the new EVM mobile, and. Um, after, well it's Thursday now, I did I picked the car up on Saturday, uh, I'm redoing this end bit of the video because of what happened in the budget, but I'll get back to that in a second. Very chuffed with this one, I, uh, I can see why so many motoring journalists and owners and, uh, and people say this is, it's light years ahead of other electric vehicles in its price bracket. I'm not saying it's not without its flaws, I'm not saying that Everyone will love the interior, for example. I actually quite like it, but I am very, you know, I work in IT, I'm very geeky. I like this sort of thing. It's like going from a Nokia phone to a smartphone in some ways. Uh, but again, I guess if you're just after a car, it's not as appealing as it is to me in terms of geekiness. Let me know if you want me to do an actual review of the Model 3, because I haven't done one yet, actually, thinking about it. Uh, and funnily enough, after four and a half years of ownership I never did the review of the Leaf <laughs> so let me know if you if you'd like me to do a review of this I'll try to be as unbiased as possible um, but yeah it's it's fantastic it's not the best handling it's not the most comfortable ride for a for a car of this value but for what I expected and it's all about expectation for me this is spot on about a year or so ago in fact I'll go back more than that Four years ish ago, we put a first day deposit down on one of these when it was first announced by you know Elon Musk on the sta on the stage, and uh, it was literally a first day reservation. Anyway, go back about a year or so, uh, they announced the prices, and we couldn't afford it, quite frankly, as, as most of you know. Um, the price of this is 
39 and a bit thousand pounds after the government grant which means obviously once you add the three and a half thousand pound grant it's 42 nine something or another which means it, it, it's luxury car tax you have to pay the 320 pounds a year in the uk for a car that's over 40,000 pounds any car that which is part of the why i'm redoing this video now <laughs> um is has gone for electric vehicles uh it's been confirmed in the budget that any electric car over £40,000 will not be paying the £320 a year supplement or the luxury car tax as a lot of people call it. This for me is brilliant because I'm £320 a year for I think is it four or five years better off. I don't know whether I agree with it strictly speaking because if I can afford a car of this value then surely I can afford that, uh, that, that extra a year and I did budget for that I expected that so this is a a bonus for me that's for another discussion though um, so let's not litter the comments of the car tax if you can afford this you can afford that blah 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 uh, one other thing in the budget as well they've reduced the car uh, the, the electric car grant from three and a half to three thousand pounds so if I'd have ordered this uh, now I guess today onwards then it'd be 500 pound dearer because obviously the grant has been reduced so timing wise it's worked out quite well I suppose I'm actually having to use these there's some like shiny thing in the sky it's worrying the natives of Yorkshire it really is so right anyway the, the affordability side what changed for us uh, is well two things really one I've been saving up for four years for a deposit for this thing so even though we cancelled the deposit for the car uh, and effectively wasn't wasn't buying it anymore I still carried on saving up we went for the Kia e Nero, that went up in price, so we cancelled that as well. And we were basically in limbo, we didn't know which car to go for next. The one I wanted, this, couldn't afford. Uh, and other cars I didn't think were good enough value at the, at the price. So we just kept saving up. There has been a slight change which has brought it forward in the fact we've basically got a little bit of money from somewhere. I'm not going to say where because that's private and personal. Think of it like an inheritance, but it's not an inheritance. Uh, so we've got a little bit of money that added to four years of saving up has meant the deposit is large enough So the monthly repayments to us are affordable That's ultimately what's changed here and the fact that the luxury car tax thing is no longer in existence is just a bigger benefit So I would class this as I'm punching above my financial weight in terms of the car the cost of the car anyway um, But uh, yeah, this is what happens when you save up when you don't go on big holidays when you sacrifice a few other things in your life to be able to afford what you do want. You know, I'm not rich. I certainly wouldn't class me as rich. We're far from destitute. I'm just pressed the accelerator pedal. I, I say this quite a lot. Money is relative, of course. I would say I'm an average person. Yes, we've got what is a luxury car. It's a £40,000 car. I never thought I would say I own a car of this value. But, like I said, four years to get to this stage and that's what it needs sometimes it needs a bit of patience a bit of dedication saving up a bit of sacrifice and here we are a bit of luck as well it's been a learning experience i'm still kind of getting used to the whole thing i've got everything set up i've ordered a load of accessories i don't know whether it's worth doing a video on that because there's a billion of them on youtube i suppose i could do a what tesla model 3 accessories you could buy as a yorkshireman good value uh, right, um, that's it. Hopefully there will be some long road trip videos on this. I had some serious plans for this car in terms of, you know, long, long road trips. But of course with the virus thing that's happening, that's put in, uh, put in well, I reckon it's going to get cancelled. I reckon a lot of what we, we do have planned uh, and we're hoping to plan probably won't happen. So it's all up in the air at the moment, so who knows, I'm, I probably won't even be visiting my mum and dad down south for a while. Unfortunately, the, the amount of videos I, I would hope this would at least just generate by owning it might not happen for a while. I should point out that the merchandise that a lot of people think has, uh, has paid for part of this, it hasn't at all. Literally, all of the merchandise money I, I made from selling that stuff went to pay for the Geneva Motor Show trip which we didn't go on because it got, it got cancelled because of the virus. So unfortunately, all of the <laughs> merchandising money has effectively been wasted on nothing. No video, we didn't go on the trip anyway. It, uh, so yeah, 
I'd love to say that it generated enough to pay for <laughs> to, for something like this or a deposit for something like this, but it, it's not happened. This is all um, you know non-YouTube related finances that's paid for this. Not that that really changes anything, I guess. So yeah, right. Uh, well, let me know what you think. Uh, were you surprised? I know some people had figured this out. Um, a lot of people thought I was getting the MG, the Yorkshire edition, the ZS, and I think if it wasn't for this little bit of bonus and four years of saving up, that's probably the car we would have gone for, if I'm honest, to replace the Leaf. But sometimes you've got to treat yourself in life. Oh, and uh, this year is a big birthday for me, so there's a little bit of midlife crisis thing going on there. So yeah, you got to you got to treat yourself sometimes, aren't you? Right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to have fun, and I'll see you soon.